LockState Connect internet thermostats allow you to monitor and control your home's heating and cooling systems, whether you're at work, on vacation, or on the road. This video will cover the installation process for the LS60i and LS90i internet thermostats. Before installing your new thermostat, make sure to switch off electricity to the furnace and air conditioning unit. If your thermostat doesn't have a local power switch, you can shut off power on your home's main circuit box. Next, you'll need to remove your old thermostat. Many thermostats are snap-on types and simply pull off. Others have locking screws on the side or fronts that must be loosened. Before disconnecting the wires from your old thermostat, be sure to note the letters printed near the terminals and attach the labels provided to each wire one at a time. If the old thermostat is poorly labeled, you can also find labels on the terminals of your furnace. Note the color of the wire and the terminal it is attached to. With all wires labeled, you can now remove your old thermostat. To ensure the wires don't fall back inside the wall, it's a good idea to wind the wires around a pen or pencil. Use of the wireless module in the thermostat for internet connectivity requires that you have a C-wire connection. The C-wire provides power to the thermostat and is connected to the C-terminal on your thermostat. If your existing system doesn't use a C-wire, view our C-wire instructional document found in our support section. Fan out your labeled wires so they correspond with the order they will be connected to the thermostat terminals. This will simplify the wire attachment process and allow the thermostat to fit snug to the wall. Next, connect labeled wires to the terminal with the same letter label. Insert each wire in the terminal and tighten the screw. Do not over tighten as this can cut the wire. Before mounting to the wall, gather all wires and feed them through the gap above the thermostat block. Then fit the bundled wires snugly against the groove on the back of the thermostat. This will ensure a snug fit against the wall. Now we're ready to mount the thermostat. Hold the thermostat against the wall with all the wires coming over the top of the terminal block. The thermostat will cover the hole in the wall once installed. Position the thermostat in the desired location. Use of optional standoffs can be used if more space for wires is needed behind the unit. Once you have identified your location, mark the hole spacing on the wall. If you are mounting the thermostat to sheetrock, pre-drill a 3 16 inch hole and use the plastic anchors provided. Finally, attach the thermostat to the wall with the screws included in the package. With all the wires connected, including the C-wire, Turn the power back on to your furnace and AC unit at the breaker you use to switch it off. You will then see your thermostat power up. Before you can connect your thermostat to the internet, you will need to insert the USNAP Wi-Fi module into the USNAP port on the back of the thermostat. Make sure not to force the module in as this could bend the pins. When correctly inserted, you will see the wireless link icon appear on the thermostat screen. With installation complete, you can now program your thermostat and connect to the internet.